Well, this uh, UFO politics asymmetric machine or motor um, still has me fascinated. And the build on this particular one uh, was very, very difficult and very, very hard. But I did get it done. It re required taking two of these Radio Shack motors and cutting them apart, at least one of them, or both of them actually, and then rewiring the armature to come up with this weird four connection point motor that I've shown in some other videos. And depending on how you wired it up, you get really weird uh, scenarios. This is one of them where it uh, adds in the uh, generator part to the um, drive part and comes up with a higher voltage than what you start out with. Um, rather interesting, but you can see how complicated this is. The wiring of the armature and everything was very complicated and hard to understand how it worked. So after I got all done with the project, I thought, well, I'm going to go backwards now and see if I can build something. And it's very, very simple based on his videos and instruction and study it at the basic, basic level. So I built this. This is a learning tool, and that's all this is. This is just a learning tool for me to help me understand how a motor with four contact points can be wired up to be a generator or a motor at the same time. And uh, this runs, but it's not right. It's incorrect. And basically from this, I should be able to figure out how this motor works and how this all goes together to do what he says it does. And most of the people on the forum now have moved on to much more complicated, uh, many, many segmented armature uh, motors that are vastly more difficult than this little Radio Shack motor, which they refer to simply as the toy motor. And that's really all it is. But for a lot of us, we need something very simple to understand the concept. So I went backwards and built this little device here simply to figure out the concept on how an asymmetrical motor differs from a symmetrical motor. Let me start this up. I'll show you how it runs. Now this is running on uh, half of itself. And the other half is supposed to be the generator part. The only problem is I'm getting a weird AC kind of signal out of it. So I have done something wrong and I have to go backwards now and figure out why this isn't doing what it's supposed to do and reverse the procedure to figure out why this is not running the way it's supposed to. This runs as a motor and it runs in different ways but it's not doing what uh, this motor here does. So now what I have to do is I have to go backwards I have to study the motor and study the commutators and the armature and figure out why this isn't doing what it's doing. Then go back to UFO politics uh, videos and his diagrams and reverse the procedure to find out how this all works. And this is my plan is by using a learning tool, which is what this is. This is a learning tool. Perhaps I can figure out how and why this device does what it does. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now is I'm going backwards and I'm, I'm going back to grade school, <laughs> basically, to try to figure out the dynamics of an asymmetrical electric motor, uh, what he refers to as an asymmetric machine. He doesn't even call them motors. Thanks for watching.